If your cat is keeping you up at night and causing havoc, this is the video for you. Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Watch That Catitude with me and my co-star Frodo. estimated 10 million households in the UK that have cats and approximately 40 to 50 percent of these cats are obese. So what does that have to do with your cat keeping you up at night, going crazy, having zoomies, having 3 a.m. crazy hour? I'm glad you asked. In this episode, I will let you in on a few secrets that would one, keep your kitty sleeping peacefully through the night. And two, maintain your cat's weight as a bonus. The wild cats eat, then they groom, and then they nap. Then they wake up again, they hunt, they eat, they groom, they nap. And that's the kind of cycle you want to create in your home as well, so that the cat understands that at night is the time to sleep rather than hunting and going crazy. So cats not behaving at night, pawing at the door, meowing endlessly, it all has to do with the cat not having a routine. So the question is how to make your cat have a proper routine. Trust me, once you have this, you will have a very happy kitty and that equals to a happy you. Food is one big way how you can create your cat's routine. Many owners give their cat free feed 24-7 and others give them big meals twice or maybe thrice a day. While it is okay for some of the cats, it's not okay for many of them, which leads to a lack of routine, a restless kitty as well as an obese kitty. In the wild, cats hunt often and small, so an average rat that it would hunt in the wild will have up to 30 to 40 calories. So they have to keep hunting and eating throughout the day. And with us, when we give them 24 hour feed or we only feed them twice a day, we are sort of not working um, according to their natural way of eating. Cats are also known as opportunist hunters, so they will eat whenever there is food available that is a natural instinct because they can go hours or even sometimes days without eating so they have to eat however much they can whenever they can so the best way to feed your cat is to give it up to four meals a day so i can understand that most of you will be working full time and you cannot keep giving your kitty food when you're not at home so for that there are automatic feeders which work amazingly you just set the time and it opens up at that time this would help in two ways for indoor kitties it keeps them busy it gives them something to look forward to and keeps them mentally stimulated for outdoor kitties it gives them a a chance to come back home because they will look forward to something to come back home in the middle of the day. Trust me, cats adapt really quickly. So very soon they will understand what times they're going to be fed and they'll be home at that time or they'll be around the automatic feeder at right that time. So one of these meals out of four, or you can also do three, but four is actually the best. One of these meals has to be in the morning. So once you get up and you have your own coffee or breakfast, that's the perfect time to also feed your kids. Secondly, you have to feed them before going to bed. So they would understand that this is different. how this will go along is you will play with your kitty a bit, tire it out, then feed it. Because um, you must have seen that once the cats have eaten, they like to groom. So grooming is sort of a calming behavior as well. And they calm down and then they get ready for a little bit of catnip. So even if you have a multi-cat household, it's still very important that you play with them at night. You playing with them is totally different than they playing together and it's also a very big factor and important factor of your relationship with your cat. 
you really need to tire your cat out so once it's tired out and then it eats its food it will definitely groom itself and then go to sleep it will be a very satisfied kitty When you're at home, try to feed your cat in an activity feeder rather than in a bowl to give it more mental stimulation. But I have a lot more advice to give on activity feeders and feeding routines, so please stay in tune for the next videos. So make sure whenever at night if your cat is coming to wake you up you do not give it any attention if you give it attention then the cat has achieved what it wanted from you and will continue doing that so you have to be very persistent if it's coming to your face just turn around go back to sleep zero attention and eventually the cat will learn and i promise you soon you'll have a perfectly peaceful kitty sleeping through the night guys if you do like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment and also subscribe and don't forget from now on we are going to do a spotlight kitty so if you want your cat to be featured please leave a comment and we'll pick a random cat to feature every week